Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. So today we will basically be talking about the new iPhone. So um, let's just get started. So basically from what I've been reading, it has a better camera. It has the dual camera and then when you get up to the Pro it has the triple camera. Mainly for ultra wide, wide and then zoom. Basically just like my Samsung S10 has the three cameras, same thing. And then uh, it basically still has water resistance, still at a rating of IP68 or 69, and that's it for that. And it's supposed to have the fastest chip in a smartphone. Now, I don't know what kind of chip my Samsung has, but I know that one of the Razer phones has an Intel i5 processor in it. So that's a smartphone, and that is still a phone, and I bet you that i5. That i5 is in one of the MacBooks, and it's faster than, the MacBook is saying that it's faster than the phone. So really, that's not the fastest chip in a smartphone. So it's basically supposed to have faster face ID. Now they say that about everyone, and I've had the iPhone 10, and it had pretty fast face ID, and I know someone that had the iPhone 10s, and I've tried it and the iPhone XR, and I've tried both of those, and they were basically the same. Now, they might be a little bit faster in milliseconds, but you don't really know that in your eyes. Like, your eyes do not see a millisecond faster on the phone of that happening, so really, that is another thing that doesn't affect you at all. And so yeah, basically what I did was, I had the iPhone 6, and then I had the iPhone 10, and I thought that I'd try out the Samsung, and so far I like my Samsung, but, I've honestly been waiting for the iPhone 2020 because everybody's saying that that'll be the best iPhone ever besides the iPhone 10 and the iPhone original. So that's what I'm waiting for because I thought I'd try out some actual RAM, 12 gigabytes of RAM and some good hardware. I got 5G, all these cool things and it's got fast charging. So. These are the things that I've been looking for. The one thing that I dug deeper about that they do not say in the advertisements right now, they are the ad's really not even out because really what they have right now is introducing things, but I guess they use it on YouTube for ads, but the TV ads are not out. So the one thing that I have dug deeper is the actual brick that they put on the charger is not USB anymore, like the, the part that goes into the brick is USB-C, just like what connects to my phone. So this right here will plug into the brick and then the brick plugs into the wall. So that's supposed to support some, some kind of fast charging, but it's nothing to be like this phone where it can charge in an hour from zero to a hundred. But um, yeah, and it's still lightning port, so it's USB-C cable to lightning port. And then you have to plug the USB-C into the brick and the brick's two watts bigger. It's so dumb, I honestly don't understand. They just need to put C on the phone and it would be a lot better of a phone. So yeah, uh, that has basically been the new iPhone. I thought I'd make a video about it. And one thing I am interested in getting and I will talk to you guys about it later once it comes out is the new iPad with running some kind of new Pad OS slash Mac OS type thing. I really want to try that out and it would be a good video and yeah so I'm thinking about snagging one of those and yeah so I will get into more detail on that on another video but uh, they start at $329 which is not bad compared to they're trying to compete with the Surface Go line which I kind of like my Surface Go but I a lot like the iPad OS and the Mac OS combination and I could run Final Cut Pro again apparently I'm thinking that's what I saw. So, yeah, so that has been this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another one. Peace out.